Tell me how admissions has changed from 10 years ago or 20 years ago, because I think a lot of the time parents come to this process thinking that it's the it's the same lay of the land as it was when when they applied. That might be more than 20 years ago. Well, you know, when you say 20 years ago, the media began to promote this. Uh, the U.S. News and World Report, the stakes are so much higher. I miss those days where it's just sort of like, you know, you just go to school to go to school. You don't go to school for prestige. You don't go to school to build a network. You don't go to school to get connections. You you go to school because you want to learn. But uh, but things have changed tremendously from from those from those days. And uh, and now schools are in in some ways a status symbol. You know, you want to be able to put that bumper sticker on your on, on your on your back window that says the college name that people will give you immediate validity because you went there kind of thing, which, which I think is, is just misguided because education is a personal aspect that's going to take you personally for, to your goals, to where you want to be in the future, not necessarily to impress your neighbor, but who cares what your neighbor thinks about where you went to school or growing up back then things were much simpler because it's sort of like, look, I have a really good education. And the University of Laverne is not a name that people know. My classmates are, uh, one owns a, a, a chain of uh, urgent care um, centers. One owns is, is, is a world-renowned journalist. One, you know, like I know people who are doing amazing things from this tiny little college that was like, that has no name. Is it because of the college? No, it's because they got a really good education and they knew what to do with it. And that's what colleges do. I was just talking to a young man today who was saying, oh, I'm applying to all these any big name schools. He mentioned in my team. That. I said, you do realize that selectivity is just another word for popular. That, that it's just that these schools are popular. It's not that they're better played because I can tell you as someone who has studied engineering schools and has visited hundreds of engineering school campuses, MIT has been but I know there are better programs out there. And I said to him, so I said, so what you're telling me is that the popular schools are the best schools. He's like, yeah. It's like, so the popular kids at your high school, those are the best kids, right? Yeah, well, no, they're not the best kids. Oh, well, they're popular, therefore, there must be a reason, you know? No, they're not the best kids. They, they, they just happen to be popular. That's not a measure of quality. How many applications you get a year is not a measure of quality of institution. It's just a measure of how well known you are. So I do recognize that there's empirical data that comes from some colleges that are able to say, say we're better at career placement or we're better at internships than some or we're better at, at what have you than financial aid than some. But what should be right for you? Like what's going to be the most important aspect for you as a student? Not going with the flow of everybody else says this is the good one, so it must be the good one. One of my pet peeves out there are these social media sites, like, oh, this college is not great, and this college is great. And a lot of kids, I've had several kids who put way there, they, they put everything on that rating. And I said, okay, you know how trolling works, right? One person jumps on, and then another person piles on that, and piles on that, and piles on that. And all of a sudden, everybody's saying, this is the worst place in the world. Is it, or is it just that people like complaining on the internet anonymously? <laughs> well, they clearly like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's almost like we have too much information because what you like at about a college is not going to be what I'm about a college. It's not going to be what Nick likes about a college. So it becomes really important for you to sort of blur out all of that noise and think about what is I need to have in order to have the best educational experience that I need. Do I need it to be a large school? Do I need it to be a small school? Do I need it to be close to home? Because my family is my rock and I need to depend on them. Or do I just really need to get home from my parents? Um, those are the kind of things you need to weigh. I agree. It would be really healthy to get back to a place that isn't so focused on getting in somewhere and back to what are you going to do when you get there? How hard are you going to work? What are you going to put into it? We all know people that did not go to big name brand colleges or perhaps didn't go to college at all and are doing something 
with their life that they love, that they are successful at, they're they're thriving in in what they're doing. There is no school with the monopoly on on your path to success. Uh, and I and I firmly believe what we put into that those four years or five or six years while we're there is what really makes the difference. Do you actually read the books that are assigned to you in, in some of your classes? Or, you know, do you get interested? Do you dive deep into stuff? That's what will make the difference in the, in the long run in somebody's career, in their life. Not just, oh my gosh, when you were 17, what college decided to let you in and, and what is their brand standing? I still remember when I was working at my first college and the term marketing came up. And it was sort of like, why would we do, we're a college. We're not, we're not selling Xerox copiers. We're, we're a college. And, but now that is, that is big business. And, and, you know, whole cottage industries have sprung up from my industry of independent high school counseling has sprung up because of the noise that families are saying, oh, we can't sort through it. We need an expert to help us figure it out. 